Welcome back, my friends. We're going to level up today in this highest difficulty, Path of the Damned. Dead Fire Run is our main character, and we want him to be pretty good at athletics now. He has a pretty strong combat role as a swash swashbuckler. We want him to be good at athletics and sleight of hand. A little bit just being there on the front line. And with his passive skills, we want mostly intimidation and bluff using for him. So um, he's going to be becoming better at intimidation. Now, for the ability tree, there are a couple of things to look at. The most important ones is probably Fast Runner. Gives us 15% stride, 5 defense when disengaging. That is pretty good. An additional weapon set is also pretty good for a black jacket. Then we have another thing though, at Rogue we have Backstab. Backstab is very good if we were based on actually stealth attacks. We kind of are, but we also are not. We're rather not though. So um, what we really want to do is get the defensive role. When we are critically hit, we're in immune to engagement for one round, which means in in my book that we're also immune to disengagement attacks so we can run away when we're critically hit and very very weak and we become briefly immune to engagement so we have also one free round where we're, where we're not getting attacked if that's true so we'll take the defensive role because that's pretty interesting to survive tough fights Let's level up Adair as well. I want him to cover the mechanics and stealth a little bit until we have other party members. And uh, being streetwise is probably very useful. And then for him too, we want the defensive role. Just have a little bit of survivability added, which never hurts. Look at that. He can now pick traps a lot better. Now let's see what we'll find in that sea cave of ours. I'll take care of it. Except, well, maybe more skeletons, we'll see. Let's see. Here. We can add it with a bow. You now attack. Come on, Adair. Kill them all! <laughs> Nicely done. Well, keeping an eye out. <coughs> As you wish. Yeah, that's what you want to do, right? Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh, there's more. There's more skeletons. These guys are coming. Oh. Bring them down! <laughs> Combat is starting. What do you need? Well then, engage a little bit and then. Pharaoh's. Nice shot. Ow! Oh. Well, these skeletons, the pesky attacks. No prisoners. No hey. prisoners. Yeah, that's much better. What do you need? A blade in the dark. I'll see it done. Do we have, oh, a war hammer. That's such a good weapon. It's also our favorite weapon, I think. We will need to look into that. And a Principe leather armor. It's really not bad. It's really not bad. That I don't see why not. Armor. Oh, that was one thing he had. And the shining light fully guided him. Guided him over. Is there is there more skeletons though? We need to we need to have a look before we explore this further. 
Leave it to me. Small forms dart swiftly between the coral below. And it's glittering everywhere. The beauty of nature and the elements so close to us. Trouble. Oh, so. What's that? A sea bat. Careful not to contract a virus. Kill them all! Hey. Yeah? Seems like we missed, eh? Mm. Oh well, that looks better. Go back a little bit. What is it? Surely that sea bat is... Taste pretty this. quick. Only graze. Well, that one is coming. Ow! Bat spit. Just great. God, three bats. <laughs> Goodness me, four bats. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Ow! That's not gonna work out. What do you need? Can we do something about this? Oh, we have these spark crackers here. We should wish that should have helped, but let's let's not find out too soon. We have that ledge. Well, what are we doing? Mm. I need to do something about this. Uh, I believe we cannot really hit anything else. Let's move here. Heal up a bit. They will come. Ah! Come on! That's really, really bad for us. Yes? Now what could we do? Go on spread two times per wrist. Yeah, we'll need that. We'll need that very much. Um, are we still, we're still, we're still a little bit aware at least. What is taking a potion? Standard action. Ah. Ah, <laughs> they are behind us, you know. With pleasure. Oh goodness me, where to where to go? Where to go? Behind that one. Let's run and cover with a shield. Hmm. Could we do? Got a stun bomb. Yeah, we need that later, maybe. For that crippling strike here on the bat. <laughs> well, that went well. Now run, 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 run. Ow! 70! <laughs> are you kidding me? These bats are the are the end gigna. Yeah? 13, really? <laughs> 33 damage. That was a good one. Ooh. 
Run, good friend, run. Yes? What can we do? Change the weapon. Still aware? No. Now we're aware. They'll hurt yet. Twenty damage. Run, 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 run. You need to be in front of him. Some bats are moving back. That's good for us. I seem a little confused. Well. We need to watch this. We need to watch this. There's that sea bat. Taste this. Ah, so close. Oh, so close. Your black jacket is so hey. handy, though. I think we need to risk it. Come on, it. Yes! That's bad. something coming towards us again yes there is definitely something's moving in what is it thankfully we've got we've recovered well we're still we're still there for it need to shoot that thing Bell hurt yet. Not bad, not good either. Hey. Mm. Huh. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was bad. Just stay behind it there. Bats are moving. How about that bat? There's one coming here. And the next one, it's following us. Ow. Yes? Not a good hit though. There's still hope. Let's be aware pleasure. of the bat. Hide behind that ledge here. Hmm? <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Yeah, you need to go behind there, Adair. To split up a bit, to confuse them. Oh no! No, 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 not, not that bat! Why can't you move <coughs> twice? Yes. Freaking bats, really. Need to get that bat here down. Then we'll look a lot better. Taste this. Ah, good, 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 good. Need to run towards a deer now. We can handle this. What do you need? Yeah? You'll stay here, Adair. Okay. Getting extra turns. We don't need these extra turns. What is it? Now that's much safer. They'll hurt yet. 
Very good. What do you need? Well, that's what we should do. I'm better than that. Oh, uh, goodness me. Mm. Need to hide behind here a little. We changed the weapon set. No. That's very bad. Ow! Well? Well, well, well. Taste this. Ah. To heal up a bit. There's no use in doing other things. Yes? Oh, sweet. <coughs> we got the bat. <laughs> We got the bad guys. Very nice. Well, we used one of the bombs. That was probably well, not a good move, but... Keeping an eye out, of course. We're good, we're good, I'll we're good. And we can look. There's another bat coming, I know. At least I think there was. Let's see we, what we can do about this bat. Yeah, there's the last bat. Is it wounded? No. It's fully healed. No prisoners! Yeah? Hmm? I'm on it. Bam. Not too bad. Yes? Aware. Charge! Yeah, that's much better. Hmm? And Stay it is. Me. Oh, come on! Yeah, really, come on. What is that now? Well, now we're close. And we did it. Very nice. Yes? The last of the bats has gone down. I'll take care of it. Let's take a look. Leave it to me. And our efforts, we redouble to look beyond this strange cave. We see a small stream in that cave. Maybe we can follow it. The waters here glow an eerie blue and the cave glistens with reflected light. You can just make out an opening in the cavern wall to the northwest, where the water flows onward. The tunnel seems to extend a short distance before turning sharply. You cannot see where it leads. Hmm. That's probably athletics, right? And this means... It's Kevava's time. Let's swim. Now, nah, let's send someone to scout ahead for air pockets. And that's us, Kevava. Take a deep breath and step down into the water. The water is cool, but not uncomfortably so, and you swim forward into the tunnel. Your powerful strokes propel you along swiftly, and you find a few air pockets within comfortable reach of your starting point. You're certain you can make it through the tunnel without much trouble swim through. Air pockets provide a much needed reprieve as you make your way through the cramped waterway. You make short work of the journey. You come up into what appears to be another smaller cavern where sunlight streams in from an opening in the stone. What is that? Where are we here? That was the cavern, right? And we can go out here again. What is that? What awaits us there, my friends? Seems like there's a ghost. A little bit of treasure. A foul briny stench rises from the sodden crates, their contents rotten. 
Told him not to bring that thing in there. Didn't like the look of it one bit. But no, no one dare speak poor of his precious animancy tech. The ghostly figure paces the length of the small outcropping with quick, deliberate steps, muttering to herself all the while. Along cave floors with a wind that blows from the in-between, the drowned pirate. Hmm. Special gift from his contact, he says. Now it's acting all weird. Gives me the damn creeps. You feel it too, right? Like it's looking straight through you? She turns piercing purple eyes on you. She shakes her head and resumes her pacing. Came out here to get away. Couldn't stand it staring at me anymore. Then... Then... Oh, my memory's fuzzy. Anyway, you want a Ben with? I haven't seen you for, but he's been bringing all sort of new folks on lately. Can't hardly keep track. That sneering little jerk? No, no, no. Wait. Hold on. Animancy tech? Looks like the rocks here did a number on your boat. Yeah, we're very perceptive, so that's probably what we'll say. Looks like the rocks here did a number on your boat. Uh, I think I remember something about a boat. Yeah. And some screaming. Look, maybe we should stick together. Feels right, you know? What with you being the only other thing around and all. I can give you a hand with, uh, spirity stuff. Mm. No kidding. I will, oh, I've always wanted a ghost. And I've always wanted to be a ghost. Look at us, all in accords. We're like two peas. I just hope you know where you're going, because I ain't got half a clue. Spirit tries to give you a friendly pat on the shoulder, but her hand passes right through you. Unperturbed, she grins and walks along behind you. There's that other, that other boat, I must say. I'll see it. There's a chest, a pistol, a potion, stun bombs. Is it Christmas already? Is it? Keeping an eye out. Let's return from the sea cave and see what our crew members are doing. Pool is still and quiet. Having made the arduous swim once already, you're fairly confident you can find your way back with we'll swim. And I think we've explored everything of this cave by now. So it's just a uh, power through or something like that. Run, my friend Edir, run! Need to hurry. Maybe someone already needs our help again. A good companion is worth so much, don't you think? There's the campfire. There's our friends. The adult to protect. They warned me strange things would come following you, Watcher. How about you? What a mess. We'll be needing help getting the Defiant off the ground. Do you know anything about this place, Beardle? We got turned around in that storm. Hard to be sure just where we are. What do we, What would you do now? Not much chance of us moving the ship on our own. But we're in charted waters. There's bound to be a town nearby. All right. All right. And you? How do you feel, Irena? The Yodel said you had to bail him out of trouble. Diverus? Was he crying? You can tell me. Oh, quiet! <laughs> You're under a damned barrel! Indeed, indeed. Should we sleep here? Should we rest? I'm not sure. Maybe we should, because really Adair is injured. So that's not the best 
to start with. Drag food here to remove injuries and receive bonuses. Oh, uh, yeah. Heart attack. <laughs> Crew morale goes down. Ship crew morale. Mm -hmm. That will heal our injuries, right? Uh, yeah, let's rest. And we have healed. What is it? Of course. Let us see. Let's see where this leads us. Where to go now? Over here? What is that? Some ale. There's Ilonet's fork. What is that? In the distance you see a simple wagon. The angle at which it rests on the road, one side jutting above the other, suggests that it has been damaged or disabled. Even from your vantage you can make out Kith milling around it. Sneak closer to observe. As you near the cart, you make out a group of red Karen pilgrims in rough spun linens and cottons. A single draft horse stamps at the ground impatiently as two of the pilgrims argue over the front right wheel, which seems hopelessly stuck in the mud. Maybe we can help them. Let's approach. One of the pilgrims notices you, who her step back draws the attention of the others, and a man in well-worn gamerson steps forward. The weight of deep concern hangs on his face. Did the dreams bring you here as well? The other pilgrims look to you with a mix of apprehension and hope. Dreams? We are farmers come from Red Keras to work the colony fields here. We are believers, all to the one, in the light of Eothas. The other pilgrims nod fervently in agreement. A woman with a smiling baby lifts the infant's head to wave. We've been having dreams, three stars sailing through the sky, piercing the black of a storm cloud. Figured it must be him, Eothas, calling to us, so we came here to the place we saw in our dreams. The pilgrims look around, matching their slipping memory to the present. We saw the giant pass with three stars on his brow, but sighs and gestures to the wagon stuck in the mud. Sad to say we could not follow him. We'll stuck as stuck gets. None of us are strong enough to lift that corner up, to get something under it. More than one of us tries and we just get in each other's ways. The other pilgrims nod and stretch, suddenly remembering their aching bodies. Let me take a look. Brief inspection reveals that the wagon is undamaged, but the wheel is stuck fast in the mud. We have some wood, the old man says as he gestures to the back of the wagon. If we can get the wheel up, we can slide that beneath it. Inside the wagon you see several planks of wood. A small box of valuables sits to the side. One of the younger dawn stars looks at you eyes wide. Reckon you can lift it? We could lift it. We could attempt to steal the strong box. No. Let's try to lift. Adair can try that. Attempt to lift the corner of the wagon. Adair squares themselves to the wagon's corner, squads deep and rests the wheel up from the mud with a grunt. A young dawn star stands in shock for a moment, reacting just in time to thrust a thick board beneath the wheel. It takes the better part of an hour to lay down a safe path for the wagon to roll free of the mud. The laboring dawn stars glisten with sweat but laugh happily as they sing songs of praise for Eothas. Smiling, their leader presses a small pouch of coins into your hand. 
We appreciate your help. Without you, who knows how long we would have been stranded out here. They begin to prepare their wagons as you take your leave. Gain some silver. The old man calls out to you as you go. Take care of yourself and your soul, traveller, whether you came for Eothas or not. We know in our hearts that he has come for us. Is that it? It's definitely very interesting. For now, thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode where we'll hopefully find some kind of village. On this forgotten continent, island, we will find out together. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Iman Bakan signing out. See you soon, my friends. Happy gaming.